Well, I'm up at Derby today for the unveiling of a construction that's taking place over the next few months. It's massive, and we'll see some pictures of this area beside me. It's next to the uh, Motor Museum, which is across the road, and bizarrely, it's, it's actually going to be more the same. Dennis, this is your baby. You're bringing in a, a, a museum as such, but showing off cars and vehicles that you actually own yourself, aren't you? Yeah, sure? well, we're bringing in... The majority will be ones that we own off the, the vehicle, the cars and trucks and buses and various things. Uh, motorbikes we'll be looking to borrow in. and uh, We'll also be looking to take on loan cars that are... Uh, hidden away on the island at present so that we can keep changing the display and keep it fresh and team it then for various events that are happening throughout the year. Well I'm saying you must have massive garages wherever you are at the moment to be <laughs> bring it all here. Yeah well we're, we've there at the moment the cars we have are spread out and we're now just trying to get them all back together into one place. Okay so why the old man do you live here already? We live here now but we were looking around to house our collection and when we came to the Isle of Man, we were looking at various buildings that were for sale here. And then when we saw this site in Jerby and with the other activities that are happening here with the transport trust and the go-kart track and the racing on the, on the airfield, we just thought it was an ideal modern location. Uh, and the site was of a size that could house everything and more. So we started off with a phase, what was going to be phase one, which was half the size. But as we went and got involved more and more, We've gone for the, the full size okay. that we're doing here now today. More about that in a minute. Let's just do the political side of this. I mean, did you do any you know, persuading to come here or are you just working with the guys? What? Well, it was, um, you know, Dennis and uh, his son Darren have both been um, very communicative throughout this whole process. Uh, it was great to hear um, sort of 18 months or so from them and to, to hear their plans. And it's a fabulous investment in Derby, a multi million pound investment. I hope it's going to make a great deal of difference to the area and I also hope that it's going to provide a launch pad um, to help this area develop and uh, be more focused and, and provide more opportunities, more job opportunities and potentially some more residential opportunities. Well, I, I was up here on Sunday, eh, you had all the guys working which is impressive but there's a great buzz around this area now, a lot of motorsport is going on all the time up here isn't it? Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's developing, it's developing really nicely. Um, you know, and when investors like like Dennis come along and 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 his son and and the family and and they they bring these projects uh, along with them, then it's obviously something that we've got to grab. We've got to grab the opportunity and uh, take it forward. And I, I, you know, I very much hope the community will em embrace this. Uh, I hope the island will embrace this project. And I really do wish um, Dennis every success. And, and you've got, I think, cafes and things like that involved there as well. So there's going to be. Yeah, well, things we, to do. Yeah, we've just restored the old guardhouse, which is at the end of the museum here. Mm -hmm. It was an old uh, derelict listed building, and we restored that into a coffee shop, cafe, sort of restaurant, uh, meeting room for bicycle clubs or car clubs in there. And we're opening that on the 8th of next month. I should ask you, have you found uh, communication with the government over this? And very, very good. We've worked very closely with everybody, and uh, we set a time scale in January and various people had said to us, well, that'll never happen. But we've stuck to it completely, and we've said in that we'd be having our St. Patrick's Day party here in the building finished on 17th of March next year, and that's what's going to happen. So that's why they're working Sundays. <laughs> and nights. And nights and everything. <laughs> yeah. um, it's, it's going to be a dream of yours, is it, to have it all under one roof well, like this, is it? Myself and Darren, my son, yeah. yeah, it's been something we've been looking to do for many years. And the opportunity finally came along when we found when we found Jerby here, and we thought it was the ideal ideal place for it.